the back cast employs exactly the same physics and mechanics as the forward cast, simply moving in a different direction. However, it is even more important because it directly influences the forward cast. Remember, you must have the end of the line moving and no slack in the system before loading the rod. So if you allow the back cast to straighten completely before going forward, because of normal reaction time, the line will have stopped moving, lost pressure on the rod tip, and start to fall before your hand moves forward. So start forward just before the line is completely straight. You want it to simply turn and go the opposite direction. Now although a back cast is commonly regarded only as a prelude to a forward cast, it is every bit as useful for presenting the fly as the forward cast. When conditions or a situation make a forward cast difficult, not advisable, or even impossible, delivering the fly with a back cast is your best approach. A proficient caster can make a back cast as fast, smooth, tight, and long as a forward cast. Refining and mastering the back cast will take you to a whole new level in casting.